pro tips. And pro tips is for maybe the people who don't own a laundromat yet, who are looking maybe to buy their first one. And I know we've been talking a lot about, you know, when you, when you own one, I don't know. Do you have any tips for someone who's maybe looking to buy their first laundromat? Yeah. Well, it's funny because it sounds like from what I've gathered with, in a lot of the conversations, you know, I, you see in a lot of these laundromats, uh, laundromat forums and groups. And, uh, you know, I, I know that, you know, um, how I found you was, uh, in that laundromat Facebook group where mm-hmm. I've learned more about laundromats in the past six months than I ever thought I would care to learn and never thought I would <laughs> learn. And, uh, more often than not, you know, it's, it's people talking about their, their, you know, they're having a, a tech issue or whatever. And when you look at it, it could be something that maybe you and I have no idea about. Maybe it's like a really mechanical type thing. And you look and there's 60 comments, uh, from fellow laundromat owners who are just interested in helping somebody else succeed. Um, you know, so if I'm, if I'm looking to buy a mat and I'm interested in it, um, the first thing I would say is get involved in these forums, join the CLA, get involved in those forums, ask people, um, the, the response from people I found it is, is extraordinary, um, you know, in, in willingness to help one another, um, you know, especially these days, you know, laundromats are, remain open, but, um, you know, you even see it, I'm in several bar restaurant groups and you see it there too. The willingness that people have to help one another through these times, um, is really apparent. And so, you know, if you're going to, if you're going to, if you're looking to buy a new mat, you know, using these resources, listening to podcasts like this, you know, obviously listening now, uh, is going to help you, you know, make a good, uh, informed decision, but, um, you know, getting involved in these forums, talking to people, asking advice, you know, it's okay to sound dumb. You know, a lot of people will ask a question and say, Hey, I know this sounds dumb, but I look at it when, you know, I, I don't own a mat and looking at it and say, I say, Oh yeah, I probably would have asked the same thing. I know it sounds dumb, but uh, you know, it's a question probably a lot of people uh, might have on their mind, but feel silly asking. Um, you know, those places are, are, are uh, for lack of a better term, safe places where people won't judge you for a dumb question. They'll just help you. Um, and, uh, yeah, that, that would be my recommendation is, is definitely get involved in those forums and see what the pain points that people have are, you know, there's a lot of people have pain points when it comes to, you know, TV, for example, they said, Hey, what do you put on your TVs? Um, you know, what kind of music service do you have? Do you have music? Do you have ATM? Do you have games? Do you have concessions? Um, you know, it just it reminded me just a second ago when we were talking about what other people do inside their businesses. Um, I had talked to a Matt owner the other day who's got, uh, he's got his laundromat and then next door he's got his dog wash, um, this, you know, thing facility, I guess. And then next to that, he's got his oil change. So it's like, you can go there, you can throw your laundry in and you can do <laughs> two other things. <laughs> and by the time your laundry is done, like you're, you've accomplished a bunch of stuff for that day. So it's, uh, you know, it's pretty incredible. Um, so again, my recommendation is get involved in those forums, get re- involved in those, um, podcasts and Facebook groups and don't be afraid to ask questions. Yeah. Awesome tips. And, and I think that, you know, that last one is, is the key is don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask dumb questions. There might be somebody who, you know, every now and then, you know, somebody is, you know, like they are in person um, and just not nice about it. But honestly, man, it's, it's way better to ask a dumb question and, you know, and to get an answer for that dumb question than to not know and to make a big mistake, you know, especially if you're trying to get into the business for the first time. Um, you know, don't be afraid to ask those dumb questions in, you know, in the forums, in the Facebook groups or, or just talking with other owners. 